Hey, the internet. This is Luck. I've been bouncing around the old, uh, the old virtual worlds this week, hoping that one is gonna pin me down. Uh, one game I thought about reacquainting myself with was uh, Wildstar, but I didn't. Now, <laughs> well, that's already up there with the great cocktail party anecdotes. Obviously, the story continues. Uh, strap yourself in. What stopped me uh, was the idea of having to resub. Uh, and actually pay up front just for access to the game. Um, in times gone by, this seemed perfectly reasonable. Uh, but now, honestly, you know, it is it is 2015, and I have a wealth of extremely high-quality games that I can play without having to pay up front, or games that I have already paid for access to, and now I don't need to pay again if I want to access it again and honestly i don't feel like any game can really justify a subscription purely for access uh, anymore um unless it's aimed at a super niche but really passionate player base like an eve online or or it's world of warcraft and <laughs> it doesn't have to play by the same rules as everyone else um having said that both of those positions are they do seem to be changing a little bit but that is another topic for another time we'll get to that i'm sure um i suppose i cannot be the only one that feels like this as the phrase going free to play uh, <laughs> whispered in dark corridors if a game appears to be struggling it, you know it, it really it became a an mmo idiom didn't it and while i don't mean while i don't mean to imply any kind of value judgment on the game by this when i looked at wildstar my <clears throat> my overall feeling really really my first thing when i when i saw that logo was i'll play it when it's free and that's another phrase that i've seen other people use uh, many times before and i think wildstar will need to change its business model to be successful in the long term and also uh, we get to the crux. I believe that that change may be in the works and maybe maybe closer closer than some people think. Um, the first time, cast your minds back to last year, the first public sign of the Elder Scrolls Online changing their monetization model um, was copies of the game being removed from the shelves of uh, certain Australian retailers at the at the very end of last year. Now, of course, rampant speculation ensued, and uh, the official statement um, from all parties, including the real the retailer, was that this was a standard practice thing. This wasn't indicative of any kind of change that was happening. Um, and while that while that may have been <laughs> while that may have been true, um, the Elder Scrolls Online uh, dropped its subscription uh, right around the time people predicted that it would, based on that. So. That's what, you know, it is what it is as far as that goes. Um, the Despite all of that, the change had clearly been in the works for a while. These things have to go through a ton of planning and approval before they get anywhere near the player base. And um, personally, uh, you know, I, I see no reason. With the Elder Scrolls Online, I see no reason um to believe that it wasn't the plan all along or at least it, it was a it was a plan b they would have kept the subscription if you know enough players were willing to pay for it you know if it if it tipped in that way um <clears throat> but you know they were they were obviously ready and they'd obviously been planning to go to a buy to play model um so now the same thing the same things happened to Wildstar, and while the game does already have a system for buying game time uh, from other players with in-game currency, it's called the cred system in uh, Wildstar. So it's not a it's not a pure subscription system um, like how uh, Elder Scrolls Online launched with or World of Warcraft used to be until uh, until extremely recently, especially in Europe. Um, it could very well be that that this model is about to change as well. Now, personally, real talk now, personally, I think Wildstar is an incredibly well-made game. I think it's got an absolute ton of really great content. Um, it's got a refreshing energy to it and a real kind of, a real personality uh, that other games can lack. 
and it's got some fun new takes on the formula as well. There's a there's some things here and there that other games haven't tried before. So I would absolutely 100% recommend giving it a try if you haven't already. Um, especially now there's a free trial. So with that said, and in the same vein, I think it's really a shame that the game it it never it never seemed to really hit that critical mass required to take off and with a really no holds barred approach and attitude to end game progression you know the game really needed it needed players and it needed that critical mass to become self-sustaining and really enjoyable for everyone and the numbers never quite tipped in time um, in the time that they needed to and the familiar MMO player churn just accelerates. I always think of uh, Agent Smith's humans are a virus speech from the Matrix in the first few months of any high profile MMO. You know, that's what it feels like, Plague of Locusts. Um, however, unlike The Elder Scrolls Online, I get the impression that the current, i.e. the original business model for Wildstar, this uh, cred system, uh, with buying the box and the subscription. Um, I think that's always been the intended one. Uh, I do believe that they, they didn't really have a uh, backup plan in place uh, like I think The Elder Scrolls Online did. Um, especially as with the, with the cred system, the in-game economy is very directly affected by the subscription model. So this means that the, tr that the transition to another model um, is potentially going to be a little bit more rocky for Wildstar and as far as I'm aware a, or as far as I think I imagine a console release is unlikely uh, for Wildstar they don't have that second window uh, to shoot for so really uh, Wildstar seems to be in a pretty, it's it's in a pretty difficult spot. Uh, the publisher and CSoft uh, do have a somewhat ruthless history when it comes to uh, underperforming games, um, but this is, of course, far from the first time a game has been in this position. And the good ones uh, often emerge from the other side stronger than ever, and they they carry on and and do amazing and wonderful things uh, that inspire many many people. So, um, I think that now Wildstar is in a position where change is inevitable. So the question becomes, what can Wildstar do to turn this tide? What can they do to, to turn their fortunes around and really make something really make something happen that this really, really incredibly uh, well-made, really well-polished game deserves? Uh, do you think it's already too late? Is there anything uh, that would make you pick it back up? Uh, still with the subscription model and the credit system intact, please do let us know in the comments uh, underneath uh, the video. <laughs> um, hit like if you think that this is a conversation worth having. I know people love to argue about uh, monetization <laughs> models, so please do have at it. Um, subscribe for more, uh, more wonderful things from wonderful people, and I'll see you again really soon. Bye!